G'day folks, how you going? The Aussie Traveller here. Look, what's going on in Indonesia? I haven't got any new updates for you at this stage. Nothing is being released through either any of the three levels of government from Indonesia at the moment. Nothing from the Australian websites either. Nothing's been mentioned about what countries are going to be part of this bubble between Indonesia and the invited countries. Nothing's been mentioned about that yet. It is supposed to be being mentioned at the end of June, early July is when they're going to be making some announcements. So we are maybe just a little bit too early. But officially, nothing has been released uh, to the media anyway and anyone that I know through my journalist friends. I just got no good news for you. There's lots of talk about what countries and who will be invited to be part of this program between Indonesia. Lots of words getting around like, uh, like China will be invited, uh, Singapore, uh, parts of the Middle East, um, the Netherlands. Nothing about Australia at this stage although it's still very difficult to get out of Australia at the moment, you need a, a good reason to get out. So I really don't have any news for you. The B211 visa is still the only way that you can really get into Indonesia at the moment. Uh, the tourist visa is not available. The tourist visa is not available. So please don't ask me any more questions about the tourist visas. Can't get it, not happening. You need the B211 visa and you can probably get the best advice if you get hold of an Indonesian agent, maybe someone in Jakarta or Bali. They're very good at what they do and they will suggest to you everything that you need to do. A lot of people are asking about questions, uh, asking about how they can uh, uh, get the B211 visa. Again, talk to an agent. But some of the reasons why you can get into Indonesia or Bali is quite simple. Perhaps you wanna go and look at some products to buy. Perhaps you would like to give a meeting or you'd like to do a little seminar. Uh, I know a podcaster that's got over there and he's now working out of uh, Indonesia and he is giving uh, technical advice uh, to locals, I guess, or anyone in Indonesia. He invites them to come and have a little meeting with them. I guess that's a seminar, I suppose, or a meeting. So that's how he's got in. Um, there's another lady that I know that's about to go over and she wants to go over and buy a whole heap of bags so she can bring back to Australia and sell at the markets. So she's going over to buy things. So she got permission as well to leave Australia anyway to get into Indonesia. But listen, talk to an agent. Find yourself one, maybe in Jakarta or Bali. Uh, ask your friends, see who they use. Um, it's best that I don't uh, suggest anyone because of conflict of interest, but there's some good agents out there and they will give you some good advice. The B211 visa is legal. Anyone in the world can apply for it. If you use an agent, they will make the process quite easy. You can do it online, but it is tricky. I did try it and I got knocked back two times. Used an agent once with exactly the same information and they got it through. It only took a couple of days and it wasn't that expensive. That's for a one entry only visa into Indonesia. That means you can only fly into Indonesia, stay for up to six months, but you can only do it once. If you want a multi-entry visa, that's a different, different application and it's a different price structure as well. Can be quite expensive. But again, talk to an agent and uh, see what they suggest. Look, sorry, I've got no more news for you about who and what and tourist visas happening into Indonesia at the moment. I'd love to be able to give you some good news. I have got my eye on it. There is a few things floating around in the background, but I dare not mention it because it's, it's not documented yet. Uh, so please keep in touch. And hopefully I'll see you soon for one of those bing tangs, hopefully, in Indonesia. Take care.